A Kurask task is rather rare, but it's actually a really good moneymaker and a really easy task as you don't even need to bring food or anything, you just camp a slayer dart behind the rocks and you're perfectly fine for an entire task. And unfortunately here, no good loot from the King Kurask, but that is yet another kill towards the superior counter. <laughs> Alright, another Wyvern task is coming to an end here and that is task number 407 completed. Quickly going to teleport out and check the loot, but I got a feeling that it is rather disappointing. I had about 60 kills on this task, but I don't even think I'll make a million out of it. So let's see, uh, only 733k, still that is some nice money. One thing I've been wanting to do for a really long time is be able to learn how to solo the Dagonaut Kings, but since I don't have the time to watch uh, like in-depth guides and get like uh, really in-depth on all of this and actually have someone help me out to do it because that would be the first step, um, I am going to do some Dagonaut Rex instead. It's really easy to solo this, all I had to do is get into the room and then it was basically fine. I will have to X-Lock out of here if uh, I, wa I want to uh, do this again, but that's alright. I got the Ring of Life just in case, but uh, yeah, it's pretty chill here. I got myself some Blood Barrages and everything and that is kill count number five of the Dagonaut Rex. Obviously the loot um, is usually not that good unless you get a Berserker Ring which would be incredible uh, on a first task but uh, I'm gonna finish my task here mostly. I did bring a lot of super restores and brews that I don't think I would really need but uh, for now it's just better be safe than sorry so uh, my armor is looking pretty shitty to be honest with a lot of rare bonus just in case but uh the thing is Dagonaut Rex has zero magic um defense so whatever you bring you can even bring negative it won't affect whatsoever uh and I'm actually gonna run out of antidotes I think before um I do any of this but uh, all in all a pretty chill thing to do so I'm gonna see how far I can get with one inventory of my supplies right here but I'm guessing something like 25 to 30 kills which would be pretty nice dude look what the fuck I just got kill count number 19 on Dagonaut Rex and I got myself the berserker ring i'm gonna quickly pick this up before it disappears but that is 2.6 mil added to the bank value and that is just for doing solo wrecks which is like a super easy thing to do so this is gonna pay for a lot of supplies and this will honestly keep me motivated to do it more that's a 1 in 128 drop and i just got it on kill count number 19 for 2.6 mil absolutely fantastic and I got myself the Heart Clue Scroll as well on kill count number 22. Coming up to an end here at the Dagonaut Rex with kill count number 45. And the reason I have to teleport out is because I brought too many brews and restores and too few antidotes. So that is something to take in mind next time. Um, most of the loot here is from the Berserker Ring, obviously. But uh, the Dagonaut Bones are actually worth a lot of money. And with the Fremenic Elite Dyers, they would be noted. So that would mean another 450k added to the bank. Unfortunately, for now, I won't be able to complete the Dagonet Kings all solo because I tried some duo DKS as you'll see in a second but uh, a Dragon Scimitar is really not a good melee weapon for Supreme so it needs something like 75 attack for the Toxic Staff of the Dead and 77 runecrafting for the Elite Diaries but that is definitely something I'll go for in one of the upcoming episode so stay on the lookout for that but uh, yeah for now the trips have gone pretty well. And right about when I do myself some duo trips, I get myself the warrior ring, which is, uh, well, it's not the best, but I mean, it's still a ring that is worth like, uh, yeah, okay, 75k. It is indeed better than nothing, that's what he said, but uh, that's another one in 128. And I get myself these skeletal bottoms as well, uh, which is another one in 128, I think. So uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good on the drop so far, but uh, yeah, some duo DKS here. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, so I think I might be able to do this solo, but as for now with this melee setup, I don't think um, I got the best combination here yet. So uh, we'll still have to see about that, but uh, all in all, this is going uh, pretty good right now. Well, you could say I sort of get lucky, but in like at the same time I got like super unlucky because the dragon axe is really worth nothing nowadays like this is 51k man I could have had a ring once again kind of unfortunate but uh, oh well we'll take the drop that is another one to the collection another hard clue yes, kit has been obtained 55k oh my god I called in before 40k hard clue loot and I got myself 55k fantastic Oh my days, another Berserker Ring on Dagonaut Rex kill count 97. That is the second one in less than 100 kills, which is way below the drop rate. So another 2.6 mil added to the bank right here. Got myself a medium and a hard clue casket, and the medium is not gonna open right here in the house because obviously I'm retarded and I cannot do that here. So I'm gonna quickly go to the Castle Wars. 
The medium is going for 13k. Wow, that is, um, yeah, that's a bad clue. And the hard one is going for 99k. Wow, the, the clues today are not on point, but um, yeah, 32 meds, 170 hearts. Recently they improved the quality of life on RuneScape and one of that was toggling the vial update. So now if you finish a vial you can actually automatically smash it with this Barbarian Guard. I've never done it before but it's something that really bugs me when um, I'm actually at Jet. And since I got myself a Jet task it would be really cool to just automatically smash everything. I use these potions a lot, uh, brews and restores and everything when I go bouncing and it's just so annoying to constantly drop vials and be able to pick them up again. So I want to automatically smash my empty vials. You can do right Barbarian, you can now smash him. Oh, that is is beautiful and there's actually one more thing that I need to do as well and that is talking to the ranged combat tutor as well as the magic combat tutor and they can now toggle your ammo to equip when I pick it up so automatically when I pick up my darts that I lose with um, my uh, blowpipe they will actually straight again go into the blowpipe itself and it's the same thing for the runes so whenever I lose runes from my pouch or I pick up runes that for example if I have a soul blood or that rune drop I pick it up they automatically go into the pouch which would be really nice right now so uh, there's a lot of things that they did um, differently this is like the quality of life updates and I should have done this a long time ago but uh, I'm not sure I've never actually found the time for it and I was like, yeah, I thought about it, I should just straight up do it. So uh, those three things have been activated. I'm just really looking forward on getting rid of my empty vials in my inventory. We're coming up to a close at another jet kill here. As long as I don't make any mistakes, that is. But uh, for now, it's looking pretty good. I got the healers on me, which I was fine. Oh my god, I fucked up. Whew, that was close. Uh, <laughs> commentating this was Probably not the best idea, but uh, we're gonna get the kill here. It's kind of annoying uh, that I cannot record the sounds on my MacBook, but uh, yeah, I think I got myself an Ooh, another new personal best, 45 59. This felt like a really fast kill, which was pretty good. And unfortunately, I did not see a pet behind me, but that is not a fire cape. Another 25k Slayer experience as well. We're gonna exchange this one here. A bargain it for the pet, yes. And of course, we're not lucky. Next time, maybe 412 tasks completed at a total of 825 Slayer points. Finish up my hard clue here, I'm gonna get the casket for 185k, an ancient page 4 and some rune items, that is a good clue, I'll definitely take that. I already finished my slayer task, 414 tasks completed, but I stayed a little bit longer because the reason I am here is 558 experience left to go to level 98 magic and we're about to hit it, uh, I think next hit, I hope next hit. Ooh, this is gonna be close, I might actually have to kill some more of these, I did not expect this, oh no, 52? 47, yeah, we're gonna go here right about now with level 98 magic. One more level to go to level 99, and that is another max level on the account. Currently 1.228 million experience to go, but uh, that is the Slayer task finished once again. A pretty good task, really chill. I got myself a lot of experience. Um, I gained 83,000 magic experience, 45,000 uh, hit points experience, and 30,000 slayer experience, which is pretty nice. And the loot is really not that bad either. So if I price check everything, uh, I don't need the hearts and I don't need the darts. So about 500k loot, which is uh, really nice as well. Yeah. Good task. Another hard clue casket has been obtained. 207k, 11 Lumberyard teleports, 11 Piscatoris ones. What is worth so much right here? I think one of the teleports is actually a lot of money. The Lumberyard one, 100k, that is really good. And the Piscator is probably, oh shit, that's, oh damn, that is a really good clue. When I got myself the Kraken pet, I was gonna stop Kraken for good, but uh, here I am again, 38 kill count into the task, and I got myself the Trident of the Seas full, and the reason I'm actually still here is because this is such a good moneymaker, and I figured why not do it for the Slayer task, it's a fun task to do, it's pretty easy, and you make a lot of money, and here I go with my very first million with the Trident of the Seas. Entering the very last skill here of my Kraken task, and I gotta say it's been a really really good task so far and I actually got myself a document with all of the loot I've gotten so far which is right here and I'm gonna put it all into my inventory after this kill and I'm gonna see what it's actually worth but I think I made roughly a million an hour here so I think from now on I might actually continue doing these tasks it did take me quite a while to get the 150 kill count 
But uh, yeah, all in all, it was really worth it. 417 tasks completed. I managed to get all of the loot into my inventory, and here it is. This is about three hours of the Kraken for 3.9 million loot. I obviously got lucky on the Trident of the Seas, but even without it, I made roughly 1 million an hour, which is really, really good. So I think from now on, I will, instead of skipping these tasks, just do them because it's a chill thing. It's a little bit AFK as well, so I could watch videos and series and everything. And I made a shit ton of money. 4 mil is a really nice addition to the bank. My skeletal wyvern task is coming to an end right here. Task number 419 completed. And I gotta say the loot from this task is not as incredible as it was from previous tasks. I'm quickly gonna price check this, but I don't think I'm even gonna reach up to a mil. Not even, look at that, 824k. Pretty disappointing, but it went a little bit faster than previously. Or I just afk more and it just felt faster, I don't really know. But uh, another task completed, getting close to 420 tasks. And here we go with yet another Jad kill that is kill count number 9, 44, 20 tasks. Damn, son, where'd you find this? And I once again managed to get myself a new personal record with 44 minutes and 10 seconds. Unfortunately, I do not have a funny feeling like I have been followed, but we're gonna exchange the fire cape. Once again, I have a fire cape here. I will bargain it for the pet. Yes. Oh, again, not lucky. Well, but maybe next time. Who knows? Uh, 44 and 10 minutes, 420 tasks completed, which is a pretty dang thing to say. But we managed to gain ourselves 36.7k experience from this task. I actually timed it this time. I thought it was more experience, but still 36.7k is pretty beautiful. But I'm going to end the episode right there at 420 kill count, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are currently 24k left from level 93 Slayer, which is going to be for the next episode, as well as some other uh, general skilling as well. I hope you guys nonetheless enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave this video a like rating. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.